inputting and outputting. What we're going to do is look at how different ways of outputting data on the screen and inputting data on the screen. So straight away we're going to get into this. So console dot write hello and console dot read like so. We run that, it's going to output hello on the screen. Now you'll notice the flashing cursor is after hello. Right? Any more things we we output using uh, write will also always appear after where the cursor is. So for example if I was to do console.write what do you think? Like this. You will notice that it goes hello what do you think? No space. The reason is we've not put a space in here. So I'll stick the space in and I'll run it and as you can see it says hello what do you think? So we know that we can use console.write after each other to add strings together or to appear to add them together when we're outputting. What about though if we want to put it on a new line? Well to do that we would change write to write line and it will output on the screen and then create a new line for us. So if I run now you will see it says hello what do you think of this? And I could also do another console.write line open bracket to <coughs> speech marks close bracket colon uh, semicolon and as you can see it says hello what do you think so that's the different ways that you can output data on the screen how about inputting well to input we are going to use read line and inputs are done with strings so I'm going to create a string variable I'm going to call it my name again and what we're going to do is we're going to go console.write line please enter your name okay and then we're going to go console.read line open bracket I'm going to stick my uh, close bracket end now that will read the line and then it will try and store the data somewhere but we have no idea where to store the data so what we do is we set my name to equal console.readLine so what happens is we type in some data as soon as we press enter it stores the result of what we entered it and it stores it in whatever's on the left hand side of the equals and in this case it's my name so after we've entered the data I'm going to do console.writeLine thank you close speech mark plus I'm going to add on my name like so like that and then we're going to run and I'll enter my name Riddler it says thank you Riddler so now we have this little bit of banter this uh, input and output okay how about if we want to enter an integer though well this is where we need to learn about converting number from different types and also about programs crashing so we're going to have an int I'm going to call it number like so and we're going to say console.writeLine please enter a number Con and then we're going to say that number is equal to console.readLine like so and that will come up with an error that won't run and it comes up with this error cannot convert a string to an integer and this is one of the reasons is this is a uh, c-sharp is a strongly typed language you can't pass data from an integer to a real uh, sorry an integer to a float for example uh, with, with relative ease it can kick up errors so let's have a look shall we how to get around this we need to convert now you can access a load of conversion tools by typing in con Vert. and then we're going to go convert dot to int 32 open bracket close bracket so this line reads number equals convert dot to int 32 open bracket console dot read len open bracket close bracket close bracket semicolon and then console dot write line you 
entered the number and again we can't just stick in number like so I don't think anyway I could be wrong oh no we can so we're just sticking number type in riddle riddle thank you riddler please enter a number 44 you entered the number 44 so the only bit that might be a bit confusing is this line that I've highlighted so what we've got is when we use console.readline we need to convert the data that we have into an integer in this case so we get console.writeline open and close bracket and we stick it inside the conversion procedure which is called convert.int32 and then we store that result in number um, there is a problem with doing it this way and that is we'll type in riddler let's see we don't enter a number correctly like say we enter 11h you will notice this huge error gets kicked up input string was not a correct format well, you can't. 11h does not convert into an integer, does it? And this is where you have to do data validation to make sure that they've entered a number before you move the data around and so on and so forth. So that is an entirely different subject, and we're not going to go into that yet anyway at this level. But hopefully you can now see about inputting and outputting data on the screen. There's just one more th type of thing we're going to look at when it comes to outputting data. The right line what you can do is you can what we've done is enter the please and en you entered the number such and such plus that I'm gonna put a comma and I'm gonna enter number and then I'm gonna put another comma and enter 10 and another comma and enter 20 right now what you can do here is you entered a number and inside this string I'm gonna put an open squarely bracket the number 0 and a close squarely bracket and then I'll run this and you'll see what will happen so Riddler 10. Well that entered 10. What happens here is this is this squarely bracket allows us to access data which is contained within these commas. So the first comma, i.e. this here, is classed as 0. The second comma, i.e. this 10, is classed as 1. And the third comma, i.e. this one, is 2. So I'm just going to mess around here and I'm going to stick in something like that. So what you see is I've got open curly bracket 2, close curly bracket, you entered, open curly bracket 1, close curly bracket, the number, open curly bracket 0, close curly bracket. So we'll change these around a bit. So 2 will output 20 there, 1 will output number 15 there, and 0 will output number there. Riddler, please enter a number 8, 20, 15 and 8. And that is really all I'm going to teach you on data manipulation.